Many novel applications cannot tolerate large delays and delay fluctuation. Thus, quality of service solutions should contain mechanisms for ensuring controlled buffering delay. To overcome the scalability issues of low-ever traditional approaches, several core stateless proposals have emerged in the past. The pair packet value concept provides a core stateless way to control resource sharing among flows. Per structure and per flow policies are applied by marking a continuous value called packet value on each packet at the edge of the network. In the middle of the network, routers trade packets without maintaining flow state, solely relying on the carried packet value. Each such node aims at maximizing the total amount of value transmitted over the shared bottleneck. In this demo, we evaluate our new delay ever pair packet value scheduler implemented in DPDKA. In contrast to the original PPV concept, packets are marked by two values, a pair packet value used for resource sharing according to a given operator policy and a delay class expressing the queuing delay required requirement of the given traffic. Delay over PPV AQM contains three key mechanisms. It maintains a chain of queues in which packets with different delay classes are stored. It inserts dummy packets before fresh packets if possible to delay packets to avoid unnecessary packet drops. It uses packet value histograms to emulate minimum packet value first packet dropping strategy efficiently. Our demo setup consists of three nodes. A source node that generates the traffic with different resource sharing and delay targets. A DPDK switch node running our DPDK based packet marker and scheduler, and sync node where the traffic terminates. Packet markers are running on multiple calls of the DPDK switch, applying different operator policies defined as TVFs. Both the source and the sync is connected to the DPDK switch through a 40 gigabit per sec link, and we apply a rate limiter to emulate the bottleneck. All the collected statistics are visualized in real time on a dashboard. We use three delay classes, DC1, DC2 and DC3 with delay requirements 5, 15 and 30 milliseconds. The top left graph shows the aggregated throughput of gold and silver flows. The throughput of 10 randomly selected gold and silver flows are visualized in the figure on the top right. The end-to-end -end delay experienced by packets of different delay classes are displayed on the bottom left. This is continuously measured by ICMP probes. The bottom right figure shows the instantaneous queue sizes of different delay classes. This also includes the real and dummy packets. In the first scenario, all the gold flows belong to delay class 3, while the delay class of silver flows is varied. The delay class of the silver flows has only a slight effect on the resource share between gold and silver traffic. We can see small fluctuations in the rate of gold flows if the silver flows have very small delay requirements. However, one can see that it doesn't affect the aggregated throughput. Now we extend the previous scenario with two additional users, a malicious user that generates TCP traffic emulating a large file download and masquerading his traffic as gaming thereby having small delay and best access. We also had a gamer user with small delay and low throughput requirements that generates low rate UDP traffic and is sensitive to packet losses and increased delay. The user's traffic is marked as gold with delay class 1. The traffic of the malicious user is marked by red, while the gamer's traffic is marked by blue. The terminal window on the bottom right shows the different uh, statistics of the gamer traffic. You can also see the number of packet losses, which is zero in our case. Note that both the malicious and gamer users insert their packets into the same delay class 1 fraction of the queue. This scenario demonstrates that even a malicious user who can give high priority to its traffic has no or only a slight effect on the performance of other flows including gaming that is sensitive to packet loss and delay. Finally, our solution by design ensures that all the flows meet their delay requirements independently of the traffic mix and the number of flows in the system.